Welcome back. You still have time to make some very creative Valentine's Day gifts for the special people in your life. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us how to make inexpensive jewelry. And this is one of my favorite pastimes when I was younger. I used to make jewelry all the time. Yeah. You know, I wasn't always the greatest at it, but I still wore it and I liked it. So, um, yeah. And, and I have a little craft here we can make. Yeah. This is really fun. This was based on, I inherited this from my grandmother. It's a, um, very, it's just a, a chain stitch crochet it's necklace. Beautiful. And it's so basically, uh, there's yeah. just beads about every five stitches. There's the beads put on here. Okay. And it's gigantic, as you can see. It's a giant oval. I mean, just a giant and loop this here. Is, this is actually just, like a chain. Yeah, it's okay. just a chain. Well, it's, it's metallic thread. Okay, that's what it is. Stitch. Okay, so yeah. So it okay. has that almost like it looks like a chain. Um, and it's just a giant loop here. And it's, so it's beautiful. And this is actually what is in right now with the whole layering. Right, because so you put this on and you would wrap it around several times. Several times. And I'm wearing yeah. I'm wearing one, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's a um this is a just a regular beige. You have your red on today too. Crochet for you. Yeah, yeah, we 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 did, we got the memo here. Yeah, I love um, it. <laughs> so, so basically what you do, and this is just basic crocheting, and okay. I'm gonna work with a big example here. Basically you thread on a bunch of beads and the, I'm just using wooden beads here and you can do this even if you don't have a crochet hook okay. so um, you just wrap you wrap around make a loop here I'm just wrapping the yarn through making one loop okay okay so you have your one loop and then what you can do is just reach through and, and pull up pull another loop through. okay and then you keep adjusting and this is a great way to teach children how to crochet and just make or do <laughs> make, it makes do if you don't have a crochet hook and then if you do have a crochet hook of course it makes it go a little bit faster and what you want to do is about every five stitches five or ten stitches what you do is you pull a bead up pull a bead right up to the stitching here okay and just secure it by stitching it in place okay and obviously this is not as um, dainty or delicate or classy as wearing the smaller ones. Well, but, you gotta start off somewhere. But for kids, um, these are a little bit challenging because you're, you're, the stitches this are so smaller, small. smaller, yeah. Yes. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different ways you can, you know, you, I, what, I, what I like to do is work with beads that aren't, you can work with seed beads, you can work with larger beads, but I like to have a whole selection. If you yeah. can catch a sale here, and I'll hold these up a little bit. So yeah. you can see there's a, a whole bunch of different, whole colors, bunch of different colors. Sizes, shapes, yeah. You can mix them um, on this one here. I threaded on a bunch of beads. And these are really, I don't know if you can see that, guys. Kind of a yeah. hard to. There we go. Yeah. So. And a bunch of different beads, and then I'm going about 10 stitches in between each, each bead over there. Um, you don't have to make them gigantic. You can make them. So this, it, this could be just a necklace that, you know, you don't wrap it around. Do you make bracelets and you ankle can, bracelets? Well, and what like you that? do is you basically this can become a bracelet. And just wrap it you several times. You just wrap times, it yeah, several times and then you're good to go. And the thing about these is they're not expensive to make and you can you can tighten this a little bit. Um, they're not expensive and they look pretty cool. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So it's it's a it's a low cost and pretty easy craft to do. And you can get beads at just any local, you know, yes. craft store. And, and they're this, probably pretty inexpensive, aren't they? Yeah, I mean there's a couple a couple dollars a tube. And okay. then this is just a couple dollars and this is crochet cut and comes in every color at all the major craft is this, stores. Is this the, the, the kind of type that you recommend for this? I prefer it just because it gives you... want to make the nice jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this really, I thought this was a chain. It looks like a chain, but it's yeah, not. It's, it's metallic, metallic thread. Metallic thread. And so it's very simple. I love that. So, very yeah. Cool. How, ma how many of these have you made so far? Did you have a bunch at home? Like, do you wear it no, all the time? No, I actually just made some preparing for today. And I, does, I your daughter, does your daughter make these? Yeah, she makes them without beads, though. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's really pretty Very fun. Cool. Very cool. Well, thanks for being with us, Jennifer. We appreciate it. Well, you can find more information on our website at WZZM13.com. Just go ahead and click on those Take 5 links. Now, we're conducting a little experiment around here. Still ahead, see what happens when we attempted to turn ice into ghost crystals. Stick around.